In recent memory, I can't remember a bigger crowd pleaser than everything everywhere all at once. The Daniels were somehow able to harness all of its chaotic creativity regarding the concept of infinite multiverses and craft something that feels impressively cohesive and simple to follow. It contains so many unforgettable sequences that range from being action-packed dumb fun to scenes that are able to pack such a serious emotional punch. But for me, the ultimate gut punch that yanks tears right out of my eyeballs is what I call the laundry and taxes scene where the main character Evelyn Wang, played by the stunning Michelle Yeoh, comes to the realization of the power and intrinsic value of patience, kindness, and love through the existence of her husband Wayman, played by Ka Hui Kwan. But before I dive into all that, I have to do the mandatory shameless shill. Please remember that if you end up enjoying this video to give it that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and also feel free to check out other reviews or scene analysis videos that I've done. Most recently, I discussed the abduction scene in Nope, and I also have a There Will Be Blood scene analysis I did years ago that I would love for more people to see. And last thing, the deadline to submit your short horror film to my horror film festival that will be streamed live on my channel is on October 1st. The submission page is linked down below, so please share it around as much as possible to anybody that might be interested. Now with all that out of the way, let's discuss what we're all here for. So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this sequence is a perfect example of every aspect of filmmaking coming together to deliver something that is so immersive and powerful. The level of creativity behind the direction, editing, lighting, and music is what elevates the already wonderful narrative and character writing. It's what allows the sequence to achieve such a mesmerizing level of immersion that deeply impacts the emotional power delivered to the audience. And contextually, the scene is quite long because it takes its time to build the character struggles and realizations, which again is excellent filmmaking because it makes the emotional climax feel more genuine, earned, and meaningful. But to save time, I'll begin the sequence here when her husband Waymond is pleading with his wife Evelyn to act out of kindness. And what already makes this dialogue so compelling is that, as he mentioned, he genuinely doesn't know what the hell is happening. He's not aware that Evelyn is seconds away from being sucked into the Everything Bagel by the persuasion of her daughter, with the Everything Bagel being a symbolic representation of a deep feeling of hollowness and hopelessness encapsulating the worst level of depression one could feel. But even though Waymond isn't exactly aware of the situation, his loving nature and his positive instinct is telling him that this whole situation has a potential to be solved if Evelyn reaches for a more loving and forgiving mental state. Evelyn responds to him saying that it's too late, but she reaches for his hand as a final surviving chance to salvage anything positive that she might still feel. And it's this simple sense of human touch that ignites her spiritual awakening. The musical score begins to elevate and the use of colorful flickering lights is used to express and amplify that powerful indescribable feeling of an epiphany and enlightenment. That simple touch of each other's hands calls her back to a similar time where they held hands and she felt that feeling of true love that she hasn't felt in so long. We then get a series of shots that are showcased in Evelyn's first person perspective that are edited together in sequence that remind her of the special moment she shared with Wayman that expresses his naturally high level of optimism, patience, and kindness towards her. And this is the part where I start to get watery eyed. No matter how hard I try, I just can't shake it. It's the first person perspective shots that just add an authentic layer to the experience, making it feel so personal and intimate. It immerses the audience in a way that makes it easier for us to feel and understand exactly what Evelyn is feeling. And combined with the musical score throughout the entirety of the scene, it becomes impossible not to feel the emotional resonance. It then cuts back to shots in present time of Evelyn and Wayman sensitively looking at each other. The lighting has changed from rapid flickering to a warm fluctuation of smooth colors and movements. It's a creative choice used to express a more calm and heartwarming feeling. It's conveying the actual emotional process of coming to a newfound understanding of who you are, what you find valuable, and what makes your life worth living. It's incredibly similar to the lighting that we get in the scene prior, except in this scene she's being mesmerized by negativity, and in this scene she's being mesmerized by positivity. And then, it cuts to the scene of the hour. This is the scene that I've been dying to talk about for so many reasons, but I'm just going to play it first, and then we will discuss.
This is the moment where no matter how hard I try to keep my watery eyes contained, the waterworks unleash their fury. This scene is so effective for so many reasons. To start, the substance expressed for Wayman's character and the dialogue he's given beautifully encapsulates how strong and inspiring of a person he is. In this particular universe, both Evelyn and Wayman have career and financial success, but they are both drifted apart because of that success. And Wayman outright says that even though she's broken his heart on numerous occasions, in another life, he would have really liked just doing laundry and taxes with her. Which means that despite her rejections and coldness towards him, he would sacrifice all of his success just to share a life with her, even if it means he'll be reduced to a common man. And what adds a double layer of emotional power to the scene is that we know for a fact that he's being genuine and telling the truth because we as the audience are witnessing it in the main universe we are following. It's one of the most wholesome and romantically compelling scenes that I've ever seen. And another element of the scene that I absolutely adore is how clearly referential it is to the films from the Chinese filmmaker Wong Kar Wai. The beginning of the scene and a few other scenes in the universe are presented in a low frame rate that's referred to as the step print effect. This creative choice is one of many stylistic staples of Wong Kar Wai's films that we see more notably in films like Fallen Angels and Chungking Express. Also the framing of the camera, costume design, and character dynamic of the scene itself is incredibly reminiscent of In the Mood for Love, which to me is Wong Kar Wai's masterpiece. I highly recommend checking out Wong Kar Wai's filmography if you haven't already. But anyway, yeah, this scene chokes me up every time and is my favorite scene in the entire film. Honestly, the entirety of the sequence is my favorite sequence in the film. But moving on, it cuts back to a shot of her reflecting on what she and us the audience just experienced with the laundry and taxes dialogue. We then get another scene that just emotionally demolishes me. At this point, I'm pretty much just in a crying state for the next five minutes because the emotional power of this film just won't quit. I had to watch this entire sequence so many times while editing this video, and I can't even count on two hands how many times tears were being yanked from my eyes. And I'm not ashamed to admit that either. I mean, just from the beginning of the scene, we see Wayman quietly singing and sweeping up the glass from the window that she shattered. That on its own brought a tear to my eye. Just the sheer amount of forgiveness this man holds for the person he loves most dearly makes me so emotional. Even after she sabotaged their business and marriage, he is still cleaning up after her with a smile on his face. She slowly walks towards him and gives him a hug that represents how sincerely apologetic she feels for taking his kind soul for granted. And just the way that Wayman slowly gives in by dropping the dustpan and broom just makes it feel that much more authentic and emotionally resonant and again, perfectly expresses his forgiving nature. She laughs at him humorously running away from a googly-eyed object, and he laughs back as it gives him assurance that the person he fell in love with is finally coming back. She lets go of her fist and relaxes her hand, letting her guard down. The experiences she shared with Wayman's ever-so-loving and forgiving nature, and the love and appreciation she's gained for them, saved her from falling into the infinite pit of hollowness and depression, aka the everything bagel, that she came so close to succumbing to. But those are my thoughts on one of the most wholesome, tear-drinking scenes I've witnessed in recent memory. Please make sure to share your thoughts about this scene and about the film in general in the comment section below. And if you really enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content.